This group of girls has shared a lot of laughs together. <laughs> and even more time in the books. A lot of long nights like of studying, a lot of homework. Which paid off because their story is one for the history books at William Floyd High School. It was crazy knowing that like we made history. Some would call it her story because for the first time the top 10 in the graduating class all girls like Beyonce who run the world the girls you know it's it's very amazing it's really rewarding but it was no easy feat for these students each faced their own challenges valedictorian Esma Asgar came to America from Pakistan at 10 years old at the beginning it was hard like learning a new language and adapting to the new culture um, but overall like with the support of like um, Floyd family it was just been so amazing which included the support of these girls not only the top cohort but also good friends. It's really important for, you know, us girls to help each other and to like be able to uplift each other. I think um, while individually we all are really strong, the strength is in numbers. Hoping their girl power also motivates others. Nobody should ever feel limited by any quality of theirs, whether it be race or gender or anything of the sort, um, and that if they just work hard enough, then they really can do anything. And no matter where these girls go, what they do. Could we see you as a president of the United States one day? <laughs> I don't want to say no, and I don't want to say yes. <laughs> um, it's definitely a possibility. Become a surgeon, hopefully, and practice medicine. These women believe this is only just the beginning. I know we're all going to do very big things in the future, and I'm excited to see all of them succeed. These are leaders of the future. The girls will lead the class again next Saturday as the first 10 to walk and receive diplomas at graduation. At William Floyd High School, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. You may have noticed there were nine young women in the story. One of them, though, spent the day, the 10th, uh, visiting the college she'll be attending, Marist. Congratulations to all of the graduates.